Now, we will be happy to answer any questions you have. Are there any questions? As you said at the beginning of the presentation, the growth of the elderly population in China will be more significant in the future. Could you tell us why it is more significant as developed countries have aging populations as well? Thank you for your question. That's a very good question. What makes the growth of elderly population in China significant is the speed of the growth. In most of the European countries, like France, they have taken centuries to double their elderly population. But China had only needed 25 years to do the same. So that's why we think that the growth of the elderly population in China is significant. Does that answer your question? Yes, thank you. So would anyone else like to raise another question? Uh, as far as I see, many Chinese people believe in filial piety. Hmm. They take good care of their parents at home by themselves. Hmm. So can you tell us why there will be a surge in demand for elderly services in the future? Hmm. Interesting question. Hmm. You're right. In the past century, elderly care services were mainly provided by individual households which means Chinese people were taking care of their own parents. This was possible because mm, most of the couples have more than one child. But the family structure changed after all these years. The new family structure will be 4-2-1 structure, which means there are four grandparents, two parents, and one child. This, the only child in the family won't be able to take care of his or her grandparents and parents at the same time. <clears throat> in the future. So that's why we believe that there will be such demand for LD services in the near future. Mm, yeah. Did I answer your questions? Yes, that's fine. Thanks.